I don't know if you know this. I didn't. Did you know that if you believe abortion is bad and that Roe v. Wade should be overturned, that you're also a racist? Well, yeah, well, of course. Yeah, of I, course I didn't you know are. that. That's news to me, right? right get, so get this. Look at this in this article. New York Times continues the fear. Overturning Roe means ending interracial marriages. The New York Times, so this isn't like some random, this is the New York Times people, published a, a, a lead editorial on Sunday in which it warned that overturning Roe v. Wade, the landmark 1973 uh, abortion law, would mean ending interracial marriage. What? Some Democrats reacted to the League of Justice Samuel Alito's draft decision by claiming that all other social rights were at risk if Roe were to be reversed and states could even ban interracial marriage. But Justice Alito specifically distinguished abortion from all other cases because it involves a potential human life, adding nothing in this opinion should be understood to cast doubt on precedents that do not concern abortion. Nevertheless, in an editorial titled, America is not ready for the end of Roe v. Wade, the Times argued, and this is what they said, imagine that every state were free to choose whether to allow black people and white people to marry. Some states would permit, permit such marriages, others probably wouldn't. The laws would be mismatched and interracial couples, couples would suffer, legally consigned to second class status depending on where they lived. It seems an unthinkable scenario in 2022. That's because in 1967, the Supreme Court unanimously ruled that barring interracial marriage as 16 states still did, violates the 14th Amendment guarantee of equal protection. Under the Constitution, the freedom to marry or not marry a person of race resides with the individual and cannot be infringed by the state, the court, state, and loving verse Virginia. How? Who is going to be okay? There is not a single, I don't care if you're at, at the deep south, to be able to, to think that um, there is a single state in the union that would ban interracial marriage there today, was, yeah. in 2022. Th these liberal minds, these liberal minds. How off, how far gone, how detached from reality, from, from truth, does a liberal's mind have to be to be capable of arriving at, at a mental destination that says, conservatives seeking to save the unborn will ban interracial marriage next. It, it's scary. It, listen, radical liberalism is, is, is a different type of mental illness, I'm telling you. You know, I'm actually, I'm reminded of, uh, I hope they have the clip prepared. I'm reminded of, of the clip from this silly comedy with Adam Sandler called Billy Madison, right? Where he is competing in a, it was like a Jeopardy style game show trying to win back uh, his dad's company. And he gives an answer, um, a ridiculous answer. And this was what uh, the game show host said. And I feel like this is just, that's a, perfect uh, clip for describing liberals' answers for conservative issues today. Mr. Madison, what you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. I don't know. I feel like it. I feel like it was perfect. I feel like that was the perfect clip. Yeah. Right. I mean. <laughs>